Our Region's Business is sponsored by PNC Bank, solutions that help you achieve your goals in life. PNC, leading the way. And by Heffron Tillotson, a history of meticulous wealth management since 1948. Our Region's Business, innovation, transformation, momentum, improving our communities and driving technologies that will shape our region for generations. The collaboration that brings vitality, prosperity, and life to living. Stay with us for the coming half hour as we examine in depth our region's business. Now, here's your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on our region's business, saluting a few of the best and brightest of our region's winners of the prestigious Carnegie Science Award. We'll find out how life sciences companies are taking root around our region thanks to the Life Sciences Greenhouse and meet a husband-wife team who are pioneering new treatments for cancer. But first, the growing demand for robotics technicians and technology. California University of Pennsylvania is teaming up with Carnegie Mellon and Butler Community College to create a new crop of robot makers, uh, robots technology users, maybe the better way to describe it. Michael Amrine is Assistant Director and Outreach Coordinator at the California University National Center for Robotics Engineering Technology Education. Robin Shoup is Director of Educational Outreach at Carnegie Mellon University's Robotics Academy. And Dr. Stephen Cadd is Executive Director of Planning and External Relations with Butler Community College. And welcome, good to have you all here. Thanks, Thank Bill. You. Yeah, this is really exciting. We're seeing what, uh, Carnegie Mellon, Cal U and community colleges all teaming up, what, to really develop a skill set that would uh, give our region a real competitive advantage. Very much so, very much so. What we're doing is, is I, I always say that the region figures this out first, that it develops a skilled pipeline is going to be the winner. This is the one that the workforce, um, the companies are going to be able to come in and say, hey, if they have the skilled workforce, we're going to, our entrepreneurs, our, our companies are going to be settled here. And that's what we're looking for. Now, robotics technology, though, Rob, and how many robot companies are there going to be in southwestern Pennsylvania? I know there are a couple of dozen right now, but is that really the growth uh, aspect so, of it? So that's a good point. And, and the key is that uh, robotics, well, people, people see robots as R2-D2 or a robotic arm, but really robots are everywhere. They're in utilities, they're in healthcare, uh, they're in agriculture, they're in cars. The things that uh, make the smart decisions that you don't have to make anymore are really these embedded systems and the programs that we're developing, this pipeline that starts at the middle school and goes clear through a four-year degree, teaches kids about these embedded systems and how, they, how uh, they can train to work in that workforce. And you've been really working on building this pipeline now for a, a, a number of years. Since now. 2000. Wow, yes. so yes. really the whole decade. Yes. Well, mm -hmm. it's, it's, uh, it's been fun. Yeah. yeah. And it's ongoing. <laughs> and ongoing. Well, and so how does this fit? Obviously, skill sets required at sort of all levels of education and training and learning. And Yes, and Cal U has, uh, for a number of years, had some uh, pretty engaging engineering technology programs. And now that we're launching uh, with Butler Community College, the robotics engineering technology degree, we're looking at this associate degree as a gateway for students to enter from that pipeline, the, the robotics pipeline that we've been building since 2000 and go on into an associate degree and then on into a four-year uh, uh, Bachelor of Engineering Technology degree. Well, and it sounds like you could do it straight through. You could yes. start a career, hopefully get your new employer to pay you for the next right. leg, right? That's Is a that very good Yeah, you can, you can escape or, or bow out at any time and then come back at any time. So Correct. that's how, you know, that's what seamless articulation is all about, and yes. that's what we're working toward. Unusual to see this, this kind of group of, of uh, organizations and schools come together to do something like this? Um, I, I don't think it's actually unusual. No, we've, it, it, we've been partners at Butler County Community College, and I know my other community college people, you know, we've partnered up and articulated with a lot of four years throughout the years. So mm -hmm. this, is, this is unique in that um, grant funded and Carnegie Mellon University standing behind us and developing, helping us develop the curriculum that's going to make sense for all industry. Uh, that's where it, this articulation is going to be uh, very right. effective. And Cal, you partners with uh, quite a few of the community colleges in the region w in a number of programs. So 
the community college system is one of our feeders for um, our student population. Really exciting. You talk about embedded systems being everywhere. I presume that means the jobs can be everywhere in the country. I mean, is there real opportunity here in our region for students who get into this pipeline and come out on the other end with the right skills? So what we're attempting to do is get these certifications recognized by national in industries, whether it's Caterpillar, whether it's John Deere, whether it's uh, Ford, uh, these are all major players uh, and getting the certification recognized is a key to, to, to the success. I think, Bill, what I think we're trying to do is we're trying to uh, place this organized, because this organized is very future looking. We're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to look five years down the road and see the skill sets that, that uh, students will need in order to be successful. We can't predict what the fastest growing technology will be five years from now, but we do know that it's going to be uh, math foregrounded. Mm -hmm. You're going to need to understand computer science, you're going to need to understand embedded systems, and you're going to need to have 21st century skill sets. And so this partnership was designed to have exits at multiple levels for, um, and that, that start early on and, mm -hmm. and lead clear to Carnegie Mellon. That's uh, amazing, and a r real cross-disciplinary, too. Yes. One of the beauties of the robotics piece of this, I guess, is you need lots of different skills to make one. And that skill set, that integrated skill set, is what employers are looking for. Right. Folks that can come on the factory floor or into the lab and do everything. Yeah. And, and keep on learning. So it's a little bit, too, of if we build this workforce, the jobs ultimately will come. Mm -hmm. It becomes a competitive advantage. For Carnegie the Mellon, Pitt. Robert Morse, a number of institutions around are, are developing great ideas. Uh, Carnegie Mellon with their doctorate degrees in robotics and, uh, and computer science. With every uh, new idea that a doctoral student comes up with, they need 10, 20 uh, technicians, highly skilled technicians, to put that together and to make it work. That's what we're in the pr business of doing. So we don't want these ideas, these great ideas, whether they be in the medical field, biomedical, um, or any of the other industries, to go elsewhere. We want them to stay in the Pittsburgh region so that we can, and if they will, if there's a skilled workforce ready to go. Okay, if anybody wants to plug into the pipeline and get started on this educational and career path, where do they begin? Is there a website? How do they get plugged in? Um, CalU is www.cup.edu, so um, just engaging in the website and looking at the programs that are available. We also have a website called the Robotics Corridor. It's just roboticscorridor, all mm -hmm. one word, dot com. Okay. And if you type that in, uh, what, what we're attempting to do is we're attempting to brand Pennsylvania as a place to go for robotics. It's a hundred billion dollar emerging industry when you when you consider uh, all of the implications of embedded systems and really with uh, Carnegie Mellon University of Pennsylvania, Penn State, all major research universities doing high level robotics research, Pennsylvania can lead the world in this. Right. Great story. Hopefully people will check it out and kids will get turned on to what's an amazing opportunity for the future. Thank you all so much. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Bill. Thanks, Bill. And next up, a husband and wife team team up to tame cancer. Stay with us. <laughs>